Welcome to the video, everyone. My name is Eight Thoughts. And when I say everyone, women, you are more than welcome here. Men, of course, you're welcome here. Gender neutrals, you're welcome here. Whatever you identify yourself with, you're welcome here. Just whatever you do, make sure to smash that like button. Okay, no, but seriously, guys, the Battlefield 5 trailer was an absolute disaster in more ways than one. And I know the elephant in the room is the nonsense with the bionic woman, no scoping people jumping out of windows and just overall the stupidity of that in the game. And we're going to get into that and we're going to get into the reasons why this is a bigger issue than people think it is. It's just like, you know what, the big response I'm getting from most people and people who don't understand is, you know what? Well, my brother Timmy is 100% correct. You're just a hater. It's just a video game, you thoughts. Well, they care so much. And as I just said, the Battlefield 5 trailer has flopped. It's not just my opinion. If you take a look at the actual trailer here on YouTube, I mean, it's got a 50 50 like to dislike ratio. The comments down below are absolutely hilarious. Like I said, the like to dislike ratio on this trailer is horrendous. 220,000 likes, 212,000 dislikes. And that's saying a lot because I know Battlefield fans are super passionate about their game. And the fact that this trailer has more dislikes than any trailer in the history of Battlefield is saying something. I'm glad people are seeing this and I'm glad people are waking up. But the comments are hilarious. I mean, this 8 Thoughts guy, you know what? I don't know who that guy is. He sounds awesome. Probably should subscribe to this channel. Outlaw here. This literally spits in the face of everything that happened and everyone that died in World War II. You said that you listened to the players, but no one asked for a woman option in the game. Every day I come back to this trailer and I feel disappointed. Hold hex to drink soy. This crap makes God World 2 seem like a good game. Worst battles when you need them. Not my battlefield. Hashtag not my battlefield. I know that Infinity Warfare was worse than this, but we have to get this even more disliked to stand up and show SJWs that we're tired of them pulling this crap in our games. But the analogy I want to use here, folks, imagine that the Warriors win the NBA Championship this year, 2018 NBA Championship. Woo wee, Warriors fans go mad. And on the cover of the Sports Illustrated magazine celebrating the NBA Championship, they put the equipment manager holding the NBA Championship trophy and underneath it says, congratulations, 2018 NBA champions, Golden State Warriors. And like I said, on the front of Sports Illustrated magazine is the equipment manager, this dude. And that would be a complete disrespect to the actual Golden State Warriors. And let's just even move away from the fact that it's all about that the woman is in the game and it's stupid and it's wrecking the immersion. But it's just gonna focus on the agenda of people putting females in the game. I'm all about diversity. But this is forced diversity. Now the actual roles of women in World War II break down like this. No propaganda, no agenda, the actual roles of women in World War II and pretty much every war since then and into the future. Nurse, cook, general mechanic, pilots, not combat pilots, transporting goods between factories and bases. They're not actually getting into dogfights, they aren't in any kind of combat situation. They are transporters of goods. From factories to bases. Arms manufacturing, bullets, putting together weapons in factories. Now there are also these big things on these Russian snipers. Their prowess and numbers are hugely and highly exaggerated. It's a Russian propaganda machine back then. They were trying to get everybody and anybody to fight in World War II because the Germans were kicking their ass and they had to push them out of Russia. And also I totally forgot. I know I want to get shredded for this because I forgot. Oh, eight thoughts. What about the resistance fighters in France? What about the resistance fighters in France, eight thoughts? Oh yeah, I'm sorry, there was like three or four women fighting in the backfields of France somewhere in the back streets of Paris, you know, trying to cause and disrupt the German occupations going on there after they got their butt kicks and then America and everyone else had to come in there and save them. All these women were doing these jobs that men would normally do because then it would free up the men to go fight and do what they actually did was die for freedom. And now they always have. There is 420,000 men from America alone killed in World War II. 16 women. That is like a point zero 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 three eight percentage of death for men compared to women. That's the ratio. I think I might have left a zero there, but it is inconsequential. You get the point. Women had no place on the front line. They have never been combat soldiers. There are a few now combat soldiers, but mostly aren't. They aren't Navy SEALs. They aren't freaking army rangers. I mean, yes, today there are some women who fight on the front line, but even that, the percentage is so small. 
and it's just so disrespectful. I mean, Battlefield 5, all they had to do was put like an American soldier or an English soldier, you know what, fighting the freaking German Nazis. That's all you had to do. Like, stop with the propaganda. Stop pushing crap down people's throat that's not real. Like I said, I'm all about women. The women had a great role in World War II. It, ha it was a whole job of everybody, men, women, everybody in between, different nationalities. Everyone came together to fight the access of evil, as it was called. That's what happens. And, that, and that's a great thing. It's fantastic. Women had a pivotal role in World War II to help out. But in no way whatsoever was the sacrifice by women equal to that of men. Not even close. Everyone did the best they could. Everyone did their part. But reality, man, having a woman flying around in World War II with a freaking Captain Hook arm, no scoping people. I know it's a video game. I know it's not a big deal. But it is a symptom of the larger disease that is plaguing society today. It's just ridiculous. And obviously by the fact that the trailer has 50-50 dislike to like ratio. I mean, I'm kind of sad that it's not more. I mean, that just goes to show there's still a lot of dumb people out there, and that's why everything is so divided, especially in Western cultures, 50-50, because you, you can see it right here in the trailer. Half of us are woke, and the other half are sitting there drinking soy milk. But the game itself, this is talking from a marketing standpoint, completely screwed the pooch dudes, could totally messed up. I mean, like, like I said, to reiterate my point, all you had to do was put an actual soldier, whether it be from England or Ireland or USA or Canada or Russia, crushing the skull of a Nazi with a, you know, a triumphant fist in the sky. But no, what do you do? You put a woman with like cherry red feminazi hair with a freaking hook, 360 no scoping people and freaking jumping on the back of tanks and Michael Bay explosions going off. And then you have her like save the guy's life and smash some dude in the face of the club. And they'd be like, oh, I'm here to help you. I mean, what kind of crock of shit is that? I mean, just from a marketing standpoint, that isn't fun. Know your demographic. 98, 99% of the people gonna buy Battlefield 5 are men, boys, teens, guys. It isn't cool. Most of us don't want to play as a female character unless our name happens to be Drifter. We want to play as the guy. We're not going to try to be some red-headed Captain Hook cyber soldier, red-headed hair woman jumping around the map, 360 double eye no scoping people and, you know, pretend to be some kind of hero. That's not what we're doing. We're playing video games as guys and we're going to play as guys. Unless that girl's got one sweet booty that we could look at on a regular basis while playing the missions, then maybe we will. Dab on the haters. Don't apologize for trying to be a man and trying to procreate with women. It's natural. Don't be ashamed. So long story short, this trailer sucked. It's a failure. No one is hyped about Battlefield 5. It looks bad. The trailer that they use and the woman that they use in the trailer completely is ridiculous and is completely forced diversity. It's pushing the agenda down people's throat, or at least that's how we feel. It's not even close to an accurate representation of what happened in World War II. I know it's just a video game, but the point of a video game is to sell as many copies as you can, to appeal to your market, to know your market, and to know your clientele. That's what you're trying to do when you sell stuff. Know who you're selling to and know what they want and deliver that content to them in the best way possible for them to digest it and to want to buy it and the battlefield 5 trailer did none of that it portrayed a robotic red-headed feminazi 360 double y no scope and female badass lead character that no guy unless your name is drifter cares about and also on top of that it's just a disrespect because i know you got people out here saying that you know what i thought you're way overreacting it's not that big of a deal it's just a video game because women are powerful, strong, beautiful creatures. And my and I'm going vegan as well, I thought. I'm going vegan. And women were out there and they were fighting alongside the men. That's what they they were, huh? It's a fact. It's a fact. But actually the fact is, no, they weren't. No, there wasn't. There was no women infantry. There was no women fighter pilots. There were some Russian snipers whose numbers and prowess were completely exaggerated by the Russian propaganda. There were a few French women soldiers, resistance fighters on the streets of Paris doing some covert operations behind the back of the Nazis while they were being occupied by the Germans. Ooh yeah, woo wee. But at the end of the day, if we're just gonna take the American stats, 420,000 American soldiers died for World War II and 16 women. And none of those women were combat soldiers. But that doesn't mean that women didn't have a part in helping the success, or the success of future wars that have occurred since then, that women don't have a place in the armed forces, that women don't have a place in the military, they do. But when you put a 360 double wide no scope and cyborg red-headed feminine Nazi soldier in the middle of a Call of Duty or a Battlefield trailer, you should expect some hate from most of us who have a brain on our shoulders and who aren't been brainwashed by the nonsense 
SJW propaganda feminist equal pay bullshit that is poisoning society today based on false stats and people wanting to push their own agenda. So with all that being said, my friends, I know you enjoyed the video, so make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done that. If by doing that and hitting the subscribe button, you're making a positive difference in the world. And last but not least, and most importantly, my friends, you all stay blind. Go to Honky Cracker Reptile and Shapeshifter. Believe me, we're this right. Get the the sun, just go tower, send the people over to all the flat news like Alex Jones. Bill Hicks. Fuck your game. Okay. White man. Bring it down. Yeah. <laughs>